teaches that salvation shall come out of Zion. We read this in Isaiah. We read it in the Psalms. We're going to read it all over the damn Bible in the prophets and in the law. That's what the Bible truly says. And that's what the apostles and, 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 the, and the disciples were teaching. Nothing outside of that. All right? You, you asked for Isaiah 43, correct? Isaiah 43. All right, so let's read it. My point is, that in the Bible, right? He's not running nothing up here. That's right. He's not running nothing okay. up here. Okay. Such a premise and we'll go to the scripture. Okay. Isaiah, in the Bible, what's happening is, you'll think that this is something serving in Israel. You say what? It's something serving in Israel. It's, 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 it's the suffering servant? It's speaking about Israel in the context of Christ dying for Israel. Read this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant, who I have, ch I have chosen, that ye may know that and believe me, and understanding that I am he, before me there was no God born, neither shall there be after me. 11. I, even I, am the Lord. And, and I, I am the what? I am the Lord. It's Lord in all caps right there. Lord is in all caps. That means that's a touch of Remington, correct? It's, he gonna read, man. You gotta walk. You gotta, no, 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 no. Slow your roll, brother. Hey, brother, slow your roll. It's Lord in all caps right there, brother? That's the touch of Remington, correct? Read. I, even I, and the Lord, I am Yahweh, the Most High God. Read. And besides me, there is no Savior. So what's your point? Right, right. He, he going to walk away. Right. He going to walk away <laughs> like he got a point. Like he has a point. Give me, give me the book of Isaiah chapter 11. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 11. Right. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 11. Because guess what? He trying to cancel us out of here. That's what he trying to cancel us out of here. He trying to cancel us out of here. Read this, man. Read this. Because he don't know what the hell he's talking about. Man. When it talks about that the, the Lord is the only Savior. Of course the Most High God is our Savior. But guess what? He trying to... I don't know what the hell you talking about. Read Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 11, I believe, verse, let me see. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 10. And in that day, there shall be a root of death. Them into the hand of their enemies who vex them 
and in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou, he thou heardest them from heaven, and according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors. He, the Most High God gave them what? Thou gavest them saviors. So if the Lord is giving the, or the order to send Christ on the earth, right. is that not from the Most High God? Yeah. If the Most High God is saying he gives Israel saviors, because guess what? They had Gideon, right? Just because Gideon saved the Israelites from the hand of the damn Midianites and the Amalekites, don't make Gideon the Most High God. He gave them Gideon to save Israel, but that does not mean that the Most High God is not the only Savior. And just like he's going to send back his son Christ, that don't mean that Christ is, a, is the Savior over the Most High God. All right, read that one more time. Bring it up. Uh, read that one more time. This name of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 27. Bring it up. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies, who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, and according to the mercies of the Most High God, thou gavest them Savior. What does the Bible say? Thou gavest them Savior. The Lord gave Israel saviors. Who saved them? Who what? Who saved them? No, no, no. Christ is the Savior over the Most High God. Who saved them? Out of the hand of their enemies. And that's what Christ is coming to do. Let's read it in Isaiah 11, and we're going we're gonna to go 